On to another part of Time Splitters. This time we're actually going to complete challenge mode. Last time I couldn't because we had a whole bunch of shit left. And also this is 45 uh, score in 3 minutes. Which is actually a deathmatch thing. Involving me having to kill a whole bunch of enemies. In the mall. As the gingerbread man. <laughs> Oh man, it's kind of weird to think about that. Anyway, this is actually the last three challenges of challenge mode. Once this is completed, we are done with challenge mode, which means that we have 100% the entire game, which is a fucking great thing, honestly. However, Titan Splitters 1 is kind of in the middle, in my opinion, of challenges, so it's not a huge feat, but it's a good one. Anyway, this one is just deathmatch. Get a gun, start shooting. And yes, it's all team based. Now, either fortunately or unfortunately, the AI here is going to be more of an asshole for you than it is helping your teammates and such, like helping you out. Also, I'm constantly shooting my own team when I shouldn't be. Because it's so fucking hard to know if I'm actually going for my guys or not. At the very least, there are zombie enemies here, so shooting their heads off is fine. Also, there's an upper floor here. It's interesting. There's proximity mines around here. But we already know how those work, so, you know. The, the game tells you to use the proximity mines, but not even the AI themselves will use the proximity mines. They will instead go for the RPG that you saw there, and the RPG is fucking crazy. Well, the grenade launcher, really. You are probably going to end up using the grenade launcher and wrecking a whole load of shit with it, Compared to anything else. That's all I gotta say about this one. It's just... You know. And hey, I already got 25 kills and I have a minute and 20 seconds left. I need to get... How many? 45? Look, my teammates are going to help me out, but unfortunately... It's not gonna be the end all be all to help me out completely. I'm going to fucking need to pick up the damn pace right now. It's gonna be a hectic fucking fight, to be for sure. And you're probably gonna fail because the AI are being assholes in this one. So, you know, unless you're good at fighting, which you're probably not, uh, you're gonna get screwed. All I can tell you is just try your best. You know, don't die so much. You will get first, don't worry. But just make sure you get 45 and, you know, win. And make sure you don't end up being the reason why your, your whole entire fucking team lost, okay? Because now I'm getting fucked and my AI are just standing there in the middle of the fucking mall stuck yeah. great anyway that was that challenge um now it's time for the final boys versus girls challenge which this one is not very fun uh it's bone grab yeah we have to go and find some bones, and then hold them for about three minutes. That's it. Now, we're in a graveyard area, which is another unique area. But... The main problem is holding the bones and trying to survive. Uh... It's gonna get hectic, and they're probably going to have a lot of problems going on. 
So here's an idea that was brought up by some people in order to essentially game this one and make it much easier. Go to one of these, uh, these crypts, I guess, these sort of areas of the graves are and such, and then hide behind that in a corner. And let your AI buddies, like this sort of area, let your AI uh, essentially surround you in a way and be meat shields to protect you while taking care of all the enemies and such. That just happened. The game just glitched. Alright. Uh, but yeah... Here's the thing about this one that we'll bring up. Because it is kind of annoying. All your teammates will follow you. And you can follow them as well. I'd recommend that and trying to get the fucking bag. If you are going to essentially, you know, win this, I'd recommend that you have the bag. And then you hide in the corner, and you wait until good stuff happens. Because the AI is going to keep doing this. So I have the bag now, which makes me a target. But I can stand in this corner here and hide behind this grave and all, and shooting at these assholes and everything. And the AI will run into me and wait. The biggest pain in the ass, though, is if the AI has explosives... They can actually try to friendly fire and kill me to get the bag. The main thing though is that they can surround me and protect me. It's not perfect. But not only that, they can also get this if you die, have the bag immediately after you're dead in order to keep the counter going up. So it's not all in fucking vain. So yeah, in this one, your AI are pretty much very important. Isn't that fantastic? You actually have a reason to utilize the AI here. Of course, you then have to, you know, deal with all the bullshit, all the asshole AI who end up with fucking big guns and explosives and shit to really fuck your day up. For some reason, the game loves giving the opposite team a lot of the heavy ammunition while your team just gets like a, a freaking pistol or whatever. But you know, if you know how to shoot good and how to do good, you can make it. This is actually my second attempt, by the way. Uh, I nearly got through on the first attempt, but the game kind of bugged, uh, in which the item, um, let's just say the item kind of despawns for about 30 seconds, and then it came back, but by the time the 30 seconds happened, it just, it was too late. But yeah, I make it through this time, and uh, as you see, my whole time of teammate is here, and they're all doing their best to save me. However, some of them have explosives, have RPGs, and you can tell it's gonna get fucking messy there. But the priestess got the bag, and she actually got the remaining second, which means that I've won. I'm, n I'm not joking, I've won. See, maybe I passed the bag now. We were almost there anyway. I pretty much got, you know, completely done. I just got the rocket launcher. So, you know. I'm pretty sure I just accidentally killed my own teammate. Nice. Yeah, see? Three minutes and 24 seconds. All I needed was three minutes, so I did indeed make it. So it doesn't matter what happens now, we've won. 
So yeah, uh, that was this challenge, and that is the bosses of gold thing. Uh, it was interesting, it was kind of unique, it was kind of obvious in fact, and it was also probably awkward for people to play as a fucking furry. But there you go, 3 minutes and 41 seconds. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for 9C. What is 9C? 9C is the hardest fucking challenge of Time Splitters 1, and one of the hardest challenges in Time Splitters history. It is the point based game of wave fighting to get to 25,000 points. However, it's all based on protecting crystals. If all of the crystals are destroyed, it's game over. The whole thing's over. If you don't have 25,000 points by the time they're all destroyed, you have failed. Each base not have that much health, and you can get a ray gun carbon if you want. The game recommends that you go ahead and use the turret, but honestly, it is best sometimes to not even use it and to instead utilize the fucking, like, carbine to take care of shit like this. Now, there are two kinds of firing modes for the turret. One's fast, but it spreads. The other one's more accurate and more, uh, I guess, damaging. But yeah, the main thing here... Just... Try to make it through and win. But whatever you fucking do... Don't have them destroy these bases too easily. You want to survive as fast as possible. And make sure to look for snipers. Because that shit can be a problem. Look at the minimap and want to see what the snipers are, by the way. Also, there might be an enemy just camping here. He's annoying. I got him though. Fucking bastard. And then you get this wave, which is they're all gonna appear in the middle and like go around you. Just kill them. Easy. Really big points out of that one, honestly. Okay, so now you have two more waves to make up points. This is the hardest to take care of. They're going to be on all sides, and it's going to be a long one. All I can say is, do your best to survive this one. I have nothing more to say to you outside of that one. This wave is going to be the make or break here. This firing here is best for the uh, long distance. Uh, the other type is best for the short distance. And also, this asshole. Yeah, that... I keep getting unlucky of that dickhead being there. I can't help it. It's really annoying, honestly. And he's still there. Looks like he's still there. It's... Ugh. It might just be a sniper, though. I need to get a fucking ray gun or something. Oh, boy. We got a sniper. There we go. You see how hectic it gets? How Paul Mag can it all get? in this one and yeah look at this there's so a motherfucker right there yeah and I bore, I bore it on my last base, base 3 which has full health surprisingly which I didn't expect that but it's this one right there 
But that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, someone's also shooting here, and I know who. Fuck you, asshole! Okay, last one. It's a whole around the world wave thing. Get rid of them. They come in twos. And now, this is where you should have done 25,000 points. There you go. If you did not get 25,000 points by the time you get to phase 6, you are never going to beat this challenge in this run. Phase 6 is actually impossible. You actually cannot beat this phase. This is not a joke. It is designed for you to fail here. But I did it. It took me many attempts, but I did it. And now, I have beaten 100% times for this one. And my award is a playable character, which is actually the Time Splitters. So yeah, that is, is challenge mode. That's challenge mode, everybody, in Time Splitters 1. And that was one of the hardest challenges in Time Splitters history. So, what now? Well, we still have to show off the multiplayer. We still have to show off all the characters we've unlocked, any maps that we have that we haven't seen yet, all the modes, all the cheats. There's a lot to show, man. And we can show all of it in arcade mode. So, also story mode as well, most of our cheats are, as you can see. I'm not really going to use these and show them off, though. You can pretty much tell what they're going to be like. But yeah, next time, in the final part of Time Splitters, the actual final part, we're going through arcade mode, and we're going to see all of our unlockables, all the stuff in this game, before we sign out and end Time Splitters 1 for good. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you then.